Hello everyone, welcome back to Power System Street Estimation. Let's look at an example. In this example, the system consists of three buses and we are taking all possible power measurements. There is no voltage measurement. All possible power measurement means real and reactive power of all transmission lines in both directions, real and reactive power injections of the buses. So the first part of the Jacobian matrix looks like this. We differentiate all measurements with respect to all states, that is theta 1, theta 2, theta 3, and V1, V2, and V3. We have to do the same differentiation for the power flow measurements in the reverse direction. And at the end, we have to do the differentiation for all power injections. Now, if we concatenate these three matrices vertically, then we get the total Jacobian matrix. Now, if uh, bus number one is considered to be the reference bus, the column corresponding to, corresponding to theta one should be removed, as there is no voltage mag magnitude measurement in our system then we have to remove the column corresponding to V1 as well. So the number of columns of the Jacobian matrix becomes 4. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.